Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I come to you with some exciting news. Airtable just launched the dynamic filtering in linked record fields feature. I know that it is a mouthful, but if you have been working with Airtable, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, don't worry, I'll explain exactly what I mean, why this is exciting news. So the feature is dynamic filtering in linked record fields. So let's switch over to Airtable and take a look at what this means for our workflow within Airtable. Awesome. So I'm going to go here and I have an Airtable base already set up that I was working with today and it's a time tracker and I'm building an app on top of it in Softer, one of my favorite no code tools. But to give you the crux of this new feature, this is actually a pretty good setup to explain that. And as you can see, I have a few tables here. I have a user's table, a project's table, and a timesheet table. And there are a few links between these tables or linked records between these tables. For example, the users are associated with projects and the projects are associated with uh, time entries, which is in the timesheets table. And when you come to the timesheet table, the idea here is that you can select a user and then you can select a project for which they are tracking their time against. So I'll select project A. And then here you can select the time, the start time, the end time, and so on and so forth. So all of this is good, but let me point out a specific problem that we face because of lack of the feature until now. So if I go to projects, I have a field here called participants. And here I can add who all is part of this particular project. So project A, it's only user one, and project B, it's user one and user four. So these are the people who are allowed to uh, track their time against one of these projects. So user one and user four towards project B, user one towards project A. Very good, so this part is fine. Except if I come in here and I want to track time for say user five, and remember user five is not part of any of the projects until now. And if I come here and I click and I select user five for the user, and then when I click on the project, this user is still allowed to see both project A and project B. Now, you can do that, uh, you can solve this problem by manually keeping a track of who is allotted to which project, but that's not very efficient, and this is where dynamic filtering comes into the picture. So until today, if you clicked on the edit properties of a linked record field, you would get this option, limit the record selection to a view. So what I have here is I'm limiting the projects to only the projects that are in progress. So if I go back to the projects sheet, I have multiple projects. I have some in progress and I have some done projects, but I have a particular view which filters a project by the status and it is set to in progress. So we already had this filter here, which is only show projects in progress. So limit record selection to a view. So I could select the grid view. And if I do that, I will see Let's confirm change. I will see all of my projects here, A, B, and C, including the done one. But if I filter, if I filter it to in progress, then we only see the in progress projects in this particular dropdown. So far, it's a static filter and it's based on a view. So you always had to go create some view and you can only select one particular view in here. You cannot select multiple views. It's only one and done. So it's either grid view or in progress or done view, right? Whatever you create here, it's not dynamic at all. So that being said, we have this filter record selection by a condition option. And this is exactly what I mean when I say dynamic filtering in linked record fields. So this is a linked record field, which is project, and it is linked to the projects table. And now we have a dynamic option to filter the selection. So let's go ahead and explore this further. So if I turn this on, I'm going to get an option to add a condition. So basically it is asking me, how would you like to limit the selection? Uh, so first thing I could do is I can actually limit it by in progress, right? So I can get rid of this. I don't have to have the selection by view. So I can say status is in progress. So I don't have to go and create a specific view, but I will still get what we used to get until now, which is I would still have my options limited to only the in progress projects. But this is where it gets interesting. So this one is nice, but it's still static, right? Like I can only set it to one or more, but still it'll, it'll be the same for each record. But what the dynamic filter allows you to do, and let me add another condition here. And now what I want to do is I want to limit the selection of projects based on the user that is already selected in the user field. So if I have selected user one, I only want to see projects that are specific to, to user one. And if I've selected user five, I only want to see projects that are available to user five. 
So how do we do that? So we come in here, we add the second condition and we say where participants, because remember in the projects table, the users are listed as participants. So we want to check if this particular user is present in that participants field in the projects table or not. But if I come here again, this looks like a static list because if I select something, this will be applied to all the entries in this table, but that's not what we want. We want this to be dynamic. So how do we do that? Let me get, delete this. So to make this dynamic, and this will be familiar to you if you have used the conditions within the form or within the automations rather. Uh, so you click on this gear icon and here we go. Now, instead of static condition, we can use a dynamic condition. And let me click on that. So as soon as I hit the dynamic condition, my options here will change. So now what we see is it says, choose a field from this table to dynamically filter selection for each entry. And the option we get is user because I already have participants selected here. And it knows that participants is of type user. So we have this field user here and I can select that and hit save. And now let's see what we get in our dropdowns. So I've selected user five and there we go. No matching projects because user five has not been given any project so far. So let me add user five to project A. There we go. And now when I go back to the timesheet and I go to the projects field and click on the plus icon, and there we go. Now I see project A because user five has now been added to project A. There we go. So let's try one more example. Let's say I want to add uh, user four and user four is only being assigned to project B. So that is the only option we get here. So let's select that. And then finally, let's try user one. If I select user one, now I should get both the options because user one is allowed to allocate time towards both project A and project B. There we go. So that is the dynamic filtering or the other option is to say filter record selection by a condition. But there you have it. This is brand new, just launched today. And this is going to save a lot of time to a lot of different people. I know many Airtable users who have been looking for this. If you go on Google, you are going to see many queries in the forums, in the videos, everywhere. There's a ton of requests for this feature. So Airtable has finally agreed to implement this. So I'm super excited about this. There's a lot of different use cases where this will come in handy. And I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. And let me know how you're planning to use this feature. I'll stop here for this one and I'll see you next time. Thank you. 